I got some bad news for you. Uh, <laughs> because we got to note this. Uh, according to Sony CEO Jim Ryan, uh, the PS5 uh, will not have uh, backwards compatibility support uh, for the PS3, PS2, or PS1 console games, which I don't know how far back people uh, were thinking they would go. I don't. How, how do you feel about that, Metro? Actually, I'm going to ask you. How do you feel about uh, about that? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't. I I didn't expect it. I, yeah. I don't know who who re like reasonably would expect backwards compatibility with you know everything that the PlayStation's ever put out. I think that would be a little overwhelming for for the people who work at Sony who have to create metadata for all those games. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I, I think it's... Well, hello. I'm here, Mario, Dr. Phil, or the Candyman, with Sausage Dan. And we're going to be going over the clip that you just saw and why stupid it is. Well, there you go. That, I agree with that, Mario. And I tell you, I'm really kind of taken back. The clip that you just saw in the beginning of this podcast was IGN people or wherever it was I, was it ign i think I, it was IGN. it might be yeah, yeah it was IGN. it was just a bunch of people that the I, ign where one guy had asked the other guy in their video podcast which we should probably upgrade to do as well <laughs> that was the, what does he think about the backwards compatibility with the playstation 5 being one two three and four but not so much to four we know the four this is this is uh, this is a really good con this is a really good topic today because i love talking about this topic and i always i i i, I was wondering when it was going back when is when it going to come back up again yeah. back to what i was saying the guy says well nobody really expected it we all expected it number one yeah, backwards, we, backwards we, compatibility we, for the ps5 for the one two and three and four we expected it i don't care what he says and he says that would be a lot of work on um, sony's and to make that happen but to me and i'll let you say some words that so what's microsoft been doing Microsoft has been doing this like forever. Like even on the 360, the original Xbox games are compatible with the 360. And yeah, in this new generation, we do expect to have some sort of backwards compatibility because it's what we've been doing forever. And we, you know what I mean? And, and Xbox has been doing it forever, so why can't P PlayStation do it now? Well, no, the, I, I, I agree. You know, when, when play, the, the PS1 came out, you, you know, it was like the new thing, you're playing it. PS2 came out. I never thought in a million years that I'd be able to play PS1 games on the PS2. When PS3 came out, I didn't really care. I didn't even care about PS2 games on the PS3. Yeah. Now, I knew you can play some PS1 games on a certain on certain con certain PS3 consoles. You can play the Fat Boy, the 60 gigabyte, the, mm -hmm. the 60 gigabyte or the 80 gigabyte. I can't remember which one it is. You, you can play some of the PS one games on it and i think i don't know if there was some on the ps2 or not i think there was a short time there was some of it and then they took it out or i don't even care that what my point is is that now that we're here going into year 2021 and we're coming up with these coming up now on these new consoles getting ready to launch onto the market i expected backwards compatibility on both ends it was a no-brainer when it, xbox been doing it so i, I wasn't surprised that they weren't yeah. going to do it because they already have the they already have it all formatted in I guess whatever it can't be and I I don't think it's gonna it shouldn't be that hard for backwards compatibility for these next next these next consoles I I'm I'm very disappointed but I I, I don't know I, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to even explain this I I was we were with Sony for how long forever right every, yeah, every we, we, how many we, Xboxes do we have in a house one two yeah. nine, I mean you just how many PlayStations do we have in a house? Like a, a lot. Yeah, you know, a lot. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, right. So, it's kind. Of, it's very disappointing to me. Very disappointing that I have to switch to the the other console because I have a. I'm I'm into physical. I love physical copies. I love physical physical media. I love phys, when it comes to video games. Not much of a movie collector. I'm just talking about video games. I I I, I really expect expected and i think a lot of people did and people seem to forget and turn a blind eye from when these first con when these consoles were first talked about six seven months ago how important this time around backwards compatibility is well needless to say since the news broke we have a couple games mm -hmm. that are going or not going to be backwards compatible on the ps5 ps5 the every I, i'm really surprised that they're going 
they have that many that many games from the PS4 going to the PS5. It's like 99% yeah, of them. That is a lot. So you you want to read them down, Candyman, and you tell me if you, you you recognize any of these games now. When he well, not Candyman, Mario, Doctor Phil, all all in one. Anyway, Mario, tell you when you read this read this list. Tell me what you think about each game. But you don't you, you don't even know who they, you know what they are. Look, no, what is DWVR? I have no. I've never heard of DWVR. I do uh, yeah. remember originally playing the original Afro Samurai. Though. I do like that. That uh, is a good game. Yeah, I do. Is... I didn't know there was a two. Me neither. I, do I did remember not the know there one. was a two. I, I got to look into that. Yeah. I mean, seriously, I got to look into yeah, that. Yeah, no, I remember. Is Samuel Jackson still doing the voiceover for that character? That would be great. I hope he is. I'm going to look into that after this. After we get yeah. done this. Good. Um, Afro Samurai 2, Revenge, Revenge of, of blah, Kuma, blah, 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 who cares? T.T. Isle of Man. I don't, I don't know if that's foreign. Right Isle, on Isle the edge too. I don't know what that even is. Okay, yeah. It, uh, it, just deal with it. What is just deal with it? I guess Just Dance, but now with oh, something just, else. Just deal with it? Just deal okay. with it. Instead of Just Dance, just deal. Just deal um, with it, yeah. Shadow Complex. Again, I, Re- I... Remastered. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I, I, don't I didn't know. even know that there was an original... I didn't no, even know that existed. Know that, yeah, me either. I didn't know what that was. Um, Robinson. Robinson. Is that the movie? I have no idea. I have Robinson, no idea. The jo- Robinson, the journey. The journey. I don't know what that one is either. We sing. We sing. That's one of them stupid ass. I can't get enough like dance. I, I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm assuming. I've never heard of it. Now, Hit, yeah, Hitman. Okay, Hitman. Go. Go. Hitman I've heard of go. Hitman. You have I've Hitman Go. Of, I know what Hitman is, but I've never heard of Hitman Go. That that's that's new to me. What is Hitman Go Definitive Edition? I don't know what. Which Hitman it, Go? I do know I what Hitman is. Hitman, they're boring as shit. But I'm just yeah. saying, no, the, I don't understand. I can't see the. I tried it. I tried Hitman. I just can't get into it. That and Devil May Cry. I never played none of them. That's how much I want to play Devil May Cry. I never even played none of them. I don't care. No, but Hitman Two Definitive Edition. Why? How did that? Okay, I don't know what that is. That's fine. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Shadwin? Shadwin? What is it? Maybe if we're saying these wrong, we apologize. I know there's a lot of people going to come here. Well, not not really. They're, we're not, no, we're not going to be correct because nobody's going to listen. <laughs> so Shadwin, I don't know what the hell that even is. Uh, Joe's Diner. Joe's Diner? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't it's know some what that like is. indie game. Yeah, I, I, no I don't idea. know what Joe's Diner is. I, I don't know what that is. So that was a list right there yeah. um, of what's not going to be backwards compatible to the PS5. Every other game apparently is. Which, and I'm real. I'm I'm surprised. Yes, I was. I was thinking maybe fifty percent. I really yeah. was. I thought there was because I know, thought it was going to be a, a select few titles. Like it I've was heard before. months ago. They said there was only by the Gamers Choice or whatever it was where mm-hmm. they only had to select it. But the thing is, from what we saw from IGN, this is coming from IGN source. This is not opinion. This is fact. That what did he say? What now? What? How did he put it? He put it as there's going to be odd. Behavior, there's going to be odd, odd behavior. behavior with some backwards compatible games. What is that even supposed to mean? Is I, it going to is 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 the PlayStation Five just going to explode on you or something? I like? think when you put the game in, it's not going to run correctly. It's the saves gonna aren't going to run correctly, and from what I understand, only select few games are going to get an upgrade. Not every game is going to be upgraded. It's, I hope I'm wrong, but that's what I've heard. But I don't know. You see, the thing is, most of the stuff that I watch. On YouTube, and I know YouTube's not a very trustworthy, trustworthy site. I guess site because you got people like Review Tech USA just coming out every five minutes so he can pay his pay, feed his dog and pay the bills. But they they just jump the gun on everything, so I really don't know. And I'm not going to sit there and read my phone all the goddamn day to do this. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not going to do it. No. I'm going to get my information from the right now from what I'm. You know, IGN seems like a legitimate source. Yeah, Gamespot IGN's seems like a legitimate a source. They've been doing it for they a while. They seem legitimate by the time they get it, but I'm sure you know. But you can't watch the other YouTubers because you don't know. So, I'm I'm very surprised that they're going to be. 99% of the PS4 catalog is going to be backwards compatible. I'm very surprised. I'm I'm glad. But the thing is, what happened? What what happens? Like I said, the clip. The guy says we didn't expect one, two, or three. That's a lot of work on Sony's end to do that. Well, isn't that? Is that why yeah, you're in business? Yeah, I I don't. Isn't that why you're in business? It is going to make your product better. <laughs> I, that that pisses me off. Yeah. That really makes me mad. No, I'm not I, kidding. I that really makes me mad when people say that. And I know it's stupid and it's immature being a grown ass man saying that it makes me mad. But Xbox been doing it. Xbox been doing it forever. They How, said they said every Xbox One game that you buy between now or after the Xbox Series X is released, you can put it in the Xbox Series X. It's going to run better, play better, look better, all around better, and you get the free upgrade. You don't. If I buy Gears of War Five now. And I put it in my Xbox Series X. I get the free upgrade. PlayStation isn't really going to do that with all of them. They said it's going to be. It's really 
bad behavior we're going to get with the. Yeah. It makes no sense to me why somebody would said bad behavior. Maybe and that's coming from it. IGN. That's coming from a, a legitimate source where they got mm-hmm. their source from the actual shit. You know, so yeah. I mean, it's confusing me. But I tell you, I, I'm really, really disappointed. This is a big. This year with backwards compatibility to me was a big thing. I don't know why it's such a big thing. I guess because now that we're into how many generations now? I don't even know. Uh, uh, what, 20, 30, yeah, 40, 50? I, I mean, I, seriously, though, I, I don't know. Now that we're going into PS5 should have been fully backwards compatible. But not, okay, don't give me, just like Xbox. Don't I would like to have more of the original Xbox games be backwards compatible. But they, they kind of, they kind of, they try, they kind of, Got lazy on that, in my opinion. They were coming out pretty heavy with these original Xbox titles from the original Xbox, yeah. and they were pump, they were they were pumping them out, man. They were saying this is going to be backwards compatible. Now this one's backwards back compatible. Now this one's backwards compatible. Then it just stopped. And then they, I, they, they it was weird. It, it was, was weird. But yeah. you know, I can't complain because there's over there's like three hundred. No, I'm sorry, four hundred fifty plus games. I think on the 360 that you can play on the. Um. Uh, on the Xbox here. If I'm right about that number, I think it's 400, 450, something like that. But it doesn't matter. Even if there was only 200, <laughs> it yeah, doesn't it matter. Still, how yeah. many, how many, how many, how many PS3 games can we play on a PS5? Probably none. none. Exactly. None. That's none my point. Yeah. That's my point. So. And and uh, what is I? What is the story of the PS5 not transitioning your saves and transitioning your progress? Well, I'm glad you said that because I completely forgot no, about that, that. That okay. That makes That's it cool. like okay. So. Well, you know what I'm excited for? Let's say, for example, I'm a consumer, and I'm like, okay, I did all this progress. I spent a lot of time. Let's say I spent, Let's I say know. you bought the racing game Dirt, because that's one confirmed okay. case. That's one Let's confirmed case. Let's say you case. bought Dirt, and yeah, dirt. you played Dirt, and you made progress, and you spent a lot of time into that game. And you don't buy the new consoles, and I'll let you talk instead of cutting you off. You wait to buy the new consoles. You okay. wait about six months to a year, and you beat Dirt. Everything's yeah. fine. Then when you get the new console, say, you know, I want to throw dirt back in. What's going to happen? All that, all that time gone, absolutely gone. So what is the point of adding this? Like, oh, guys, look, we're gonna, we're gonna give you backwards compatibility, but you're gonna keep nothing. You're gonna keep nothing at all. Like, I, I don't want to play. I'm not gonna play. Now, I'm, I'm just not gonna play it. I'm not gonna. I, the reason I would play black backwards compatible on the PS5 is I get to continue off of what I've done. Well, the yeah, game didn't your die. Your currency and your saves and everything. To continue. I, I think there's going to be a big problem with. I, I. I don't see it looking much better. So what they're saying is with the PS5, when you put a PS4 game in, back to this for a second, it's going to look exactly like the PS4 Pro. It's not going to be an upgrade. It's not going to be look any better. Yeah. They say it's not. They they're, they're confused about how it's going to act. It's going to act weird. It says whatever word he used. Whatever word he used, he, it's going to act whatever, whatever he said. It made no sense what he said. If you're if you're con- and you're curious about if you happen to listen to this, it's on IGN's page. It's some little podcast they did. But like you said, if you spent six months in a game, you really like the game, say Dirt, for instance, mm-hmm. uh, and you go you go and you buy the Xbox Series X and you want to put Dirt back in because you haven't played it in a while and it's your favorite racing game, mm-hmm. just like. Uh, Need for Speed uh, Hot Pursuits, probably one of my favorite racing games, a remaster in that. I don't know if you knew that or not. No. That's off topic. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I, all my saves and currency is apparently not going to be there. Unless they fix that within, you know, unless they, the unless they story. fix it. I mean, I don't think they're going to change much. No. I don't, think the game's gonna, I don't think the game's going to run any better. I don't think it's going to look any better, in my opinion. That just is my opinion. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's going to run any better, look any better. And while we're talking about PlayStation for right now, maybe we, we maybe we'll go talk about you know maybe Xbox here in a second. But why do I need videos? And I, I'm just being a dumbass right now. I'm just being a dumbass. Why do I need? Vi- and this has been happening for years. First of all, we don't need unboxings anymore. No, we don't. Because we don't. what comes in? What comes with a game? <laughs> the disc. Nothing, right? Yeah. Nothing comes yeah, with a game. No. Yeah. Why do I still see unboxings? And why do I unboxing watch unboxing of a game? Why do I watch somebody do an unboxing of a new game? I, I kind of do just because I'm like, I, how are they delivering this? I don't know. I, how do you deliver? Uh, let, me, let, let me do an unboxing for you. Let me show you this disc. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, why do we have videos with people saying how to play? PS4 games on their PS5 and I've already seen them well here's what I would do if I bought the PS5 and I bring it home see the see that box right there it says Xbox yeah. One my VCR edition it says 
360 games are playable. Right there, to see the sticker? Yeah, Xbox 360. So why would I have to look up on the internet or go to YouTube to figure out how to play that play the 360 game on that console? Shouldn't I just be able to put it in? Oh my god! Oh my god. You're right, Mario. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Should I just be able to put all it that in? running over them fucking turtles and kicking them fireballs? You're pretty smart. Because I would have never figured that out. <laughs> if it's set on the sticker right there, Xbox, Xbox 360, 360. or pl- games are playable in this this unit, I would be like, well, how am I going to do it? <laughs> I'm gonna stick the game inside it. And okay, play well, it. Th- that's why I hate YouTube in a way, and, I, and I'm doing YouTube, and I, I, it's what it is. It is what it is. It's, it's, it's it is what it is, but. That I don't. We don't. Everybody out there, if you're, uh, I know they're they're hurt. Everybody's any, any. They make videos on anything nowadays. I mean, even speculation. Yeah. Any speculation. speculation. I like opinions. I try to base everything I do on my channel and my stupid gameplay that makes no sense and I can't keep on topic. I keep all opinion. I like opinions better than I do trying to say here's how you play or this is what you do. This is what's going to happen when the facts are wrong. Here's the thing that happened yesterday, two days ago, or day. We're, this is already old news. I'm sure nobody's covering this because by the time this is done and uploaded, there's going to be six more new things that we don't even know about. Yeah. So there's a rumor going around that the Xbox Series X burned somebody's hand. It burned someone's burned hand. Burned his hand. That's how hot it got. Then people were making fun of it, saying you can cook a grilled cheese on it. <laughs> I, I like grilled cheese. Uh, yeah, okay. There's one thing I can get when I get an Xbox Series X. That's backwards compatibility from all generations. Maybe not every title, but most select titles. I get to play with a free upgrade. From an Xbox One game, I get a free upgrade. It runs better okay. from what they're telling me. Now, I'm saying this better work because they're promising me this yeah, shit. They're... And on top of that, I get to cook a grilled cheese on top of it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's no, but bonus. seriously, it went from a guy pulling out a external memory card that they're selling you for $200, which is kind of expensive. It's it, it, expensive. kind of expensive, but it's a terabyte. I mean, doesn't the console come with a terabyte? I know you don't get the full terabyte because you got you got to have you got to have Hulu. You got to you gotta have, have Netflix. You got to. You got to have Pornhub. You got to have uh, uh you got to have I, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Every car, car dealership in the world. I mean, you got it. It's not. They're not consoles anymore, man. No. They're not consoles you do anymore. Not build just for games. Yeah, it, it, I'm done. I'm kind of pissed off at that as well. I mean, I get it that everybody. It's a all around unit. It 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 makes sense for an average consumer. Yeah. It makes sense, but I I I I would like to take that all that out because the the TVs do it now. That's what they're built for, yeah. You know what I mean? The TVs yeah. are smart TVs. When I don't need Hulu on my TV and my my Xbox or my no, PlayStation yeah, Five. It, why do you? Why is that a thing now? I don't know. Can you tell me no, seriously? No, why okay, is that a thing? My now? opinion on that yeah, actually. Yeah, why? Why is that? Is is when when I think of a console, what do you do on a console? What is it specifically designed to do? I, I thought playing games. Playing but I, games. But I, that's I, that's I, secondary uh, now. It's uh, so now apparently secondary. You, you're having you're taking away storage off your system that is built for playing games, built yeah. strictly to play games. Now wow. you're taking off storage because you want to have all these yeah, other that, things that, on it. You're going to lose a significant amount. A, a, a lot. when it comes to just your stupid ass browser and your your, your Hulu, <laughs> Netflix, YouTube, uh, uh, all all the newer. Apps yeah. that I don't even know. I mean, no, was it, it Play-Doh or Plato or Pleto or? There's so many different apps now that you, that are available. But why do we need these apps on a console now? Why don't we? We have the, the TVs are smart TVs now. Yeah, and TVs are cheap. You, you They're not expensive them. anymore, man. No. I mean, you get a high end one that you know if it's really really good high end. All the all you know H H H whatever all of it all of it 4K eight and I don't even want to talk about 8K. I don't even want to talk about that. I don't know why I just bring it up myself when I don't want to talk about it. You didn't bring it up. I bring it up. Because I don't want to hear 8K com- com- you know, compatible. It may be 8K compatible. And there's no way the Xbox Series S is going to run 120 frames per second. If it does, this. You're, you're just a liar. Yeah, it looks know. stupid. That's <laughs> dumb. You can go, the digital consoles can just go you can just trash those. But why do we need to have all this stuff on a console now when... TVs are cheaper than the goddamn console. Yeah, I know. You understand? They're cheaper than the you console itself. You see what I'm itself. saying? Yeah, I no, know. Seriously, they really are. You're, fucking, you're buying a TV for your console to play it on, and that TV that you just bought has all, all that on I, it. I know there's some, I think there's some, I, I can't believe there's 720p TVs out there still. That's crazy. That blows my mind. Yeah, And there are crazy. some, 
because Katie has one herself that the grandmother sent sent over. It, yeah. It's not smart. It's not. I don't know what she bought. She I guess she bought that in Bedrock. <laughs> she bought it off of no. Barney. She, I mean, at a yard it sale. The, bought off the Flint, black market. Yeah, I don't understand. Fred Flintstone must have sold that on his yard sale. <laughs> I don't know where you. I never seen a TV that you can buy. It comes. Came to the house in a box brand new that's not smart. Everything's <laughs> smart now. But Everything. I don't understand why we need to have these these apps on the console, and it really pisses me off. It really does, and I, I don't know why it does it because, I mean, what, why am I mad about it? I don't know, but I don't need all these apps on a console anymore. Last, last gen, maybe, maybe yeah, cause, because TVs were expensive. Yeah, TVs. You go to Best Buy now, man. You can get a decent TV, and you're not going to have the high-end shit. You're not going to have the high-end graphics and a high... Mm-hmm. But I'm, some of them are pretty good still. For three, four hundred bucks, man... You can get a decent TV for five hundred yeah. bucks. And Not a great smart. one, but a decent. And it's smart. It's a smart. Why do we? I, man, well, <laughs> it's not necessary. It's going to be taking up space. And I, you know, in a console, I like to have games on the console because it's a console. Well, I, the, I, well, the thing is, these dumbasses, these dumbass developers, they're they're pushing the digital down, downloadable down your throat. You got Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Not Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare. What is that? 7,465 gigabytes? No, it, it it's, actually has grown a lot through it's, updates. It's, it's, no, gotten it's a insane. lot. It, that, you it's could gotten probably, insane. You could probably download one indie game, meaning like Meat Boy, Meat, <laughs> and <laughs> Call of Duty, Modern Warfare just on the Xbox Series S. And that's that's it. what. That's all you can put on there. Yeah, no, no. It's gotten so insane. It's that, gotten you insane. You may need me. I don't know about you, Mario. You tell me, tell me, after I say what I say, you give me a little bit, of, just not a whole, whatever you want to have, you want to do it. Give me a little bit of your background of what, what, what you think. I, I've got away from playing multiplayer. I used to think in my mind, this is crazy. If I wasn't playing multiplayer when I got home, or I wasn't online playing with people, or playing, or playing on multiplayer, I wasn't playing. I completely, in these past six months, converted from having to play multiplayer and only beating a campaign because it came with the game. I'm all campaign now. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what happened to me. I don't yeah. know what happened. Remember when you used to play yeah. nothing but campaign? I used to play nothing but campaigns. Yeah. So, I mean, what do you, I mean, where where are you at now? I mean, where, you're not even you don't even you don't even you don't even care about the PS5 or Xbox Series X at this point. You don't even play the consoles anymore. No. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, the way I look at it is I I used to play campaigns because honestly, the campaigns, when I played them, I mean, campaigns are better in general. I will say campaigns are better than multiplayer. However, the reason I would pick multiplayer over campaign is because multiplayer can be, well, th- theoretically endless. Campaigns are not endless. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but if they're, they're, put, shut you they're off, shoving this issue battle with. royale down your throat. Oh, I hate that. I hate I don't. Well, I hate what, but I mean, think about what, unless the, the crazy shit that you play, because you play obscure titles, obscure titles, I think. Unless I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm living, maybe I'm friend Flitzner now, because I don't <laughs> know what you guys are even talking about. And I, I don't really, you know, Sarah said something about yesterday, fan, Fantasia or something. I was like, I don't even know what she's even talking about. And I don't want to take a picture of a ghost. How can you? <laughs> I, I'm not getting into that. That's another game. What's this game you guys are talking um, about? This is, is is that a? That's not even a. Is that a console title? That's a console title. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't. I haven't heard recently, of it. Recently, uh, we've been playing a game called Rogue Company. It's like a four v four multiplayer competitive. You know. Okay. Team based, fight each other for the better score, and you win, you're better. You know. It's well, like, like fight like how? I don't understand. You have to tell it's me. It's a shooter game. It's, it's a, a shooter. Third, a third it's a shooter. person shooter. Okay. That's a four v four. That um. It's like it's it's a squad based game. It's just yes, I agree. It's a shooter. It's a shooter shooter squad based game. Does it look like a PS2 title or what does this look like? Because I know these you guys you play some obscure obscure titles. They look like shit. I I hate to tell you, they look like shit. I hate to say that they look like shit. Like payday looks like shit. I'd say um, great concept, but looks like Rogue Company kind of looks like a PS3 game. Why do you guys do? There's more and more people doing that. (laughs) Why? I mean, if the game's good, the game's good. I'm not a big. Person. I have to disagree with that. I really have to do. I really have to d- disagree, it, there, because I deserve better. I know that sounds stupid. <laughs> I think I deserve it's... better. You know, why I deserve better because no. I'm paying five hundred dollars for yeah. a fucking console. <laughs> no, this shit better look good. I'm just being honest with you, man. Yeah, no, I deserve I, better. I, I'm I not. You know, if I want to play PS3, I'd go out and get, get out of my box. But usually, out of the box. The, the, the thing is that I, you're not going to find a like <laughs> multiplayer shooter or like a heavily competitive game that's stunning looking. Like name one that you know. 
Mm, well, you got me there. It, it doesn't exist unless it's like mm. a like a can The ones that really look good are like campaign driven almost because the developers made the campaign and then they well, what about what, okay here's a, here's, here's, here's a question because we're both not I played the first one I thought it was okay but it wasn't for me I choose I, at the time when Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 not the new one came out I was more that in a Black Ops guy than I was a Gears of War guy no I, I agree. just did I, I mean you would I think I did like the Horde and um, that was Gears that was War, some that was good awesome. time that was a good time. That was some good times there, man. That was there, good man. times. No, man. that was... Remember, that was oh, we man. played the Horde. That, now that, I have to say, yeah, okay, I do agree with that one. That, I could do that again. Yeah. I don't know if they took some of that out. Remember the one time they took something out, we tried to play it, and they took it out? Remember we tried to do it? And I think once we got the new one, and then we had an issue with um, Xbox Gold or something. Remember no, that? I remember you saying it wasn't... Okay, maybe. I don't know what it was, but I remember me and you trying it. it we couldn't. We couldn't do it. It wasn't even in the game. Or was it? I, I don't know. I'm not getting into all that. It didn't work. I, I do know For it some didn't reason, work. oh, you're right. It was the gold. It was the gold. You had to not, have gold to play. I, oh, for, for, I hated that. What? Okay, so, okay, so, okay, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. There's this game. I bought this game. What it, Gears of War is known for campaign, multiplayer, mainly campaign. Right. And Horde mode. Right, Horde right, mode's been right. in Gears of War forever, okay? Ever, man. And you know, when you bought the game, you could play Horde mode offline. You don't even have to be online. We played, we ran that over we and over ran, again. Oh my we God, ran that I over and over again. I love that. And then come to find out when you got Gears of War 4. Right? Is that what it is? Four? I think it was five. Gears of War. No, five. you didn't get five because I don't. We we don't even have five. No, it, I thought it's, it's, I thought we played Gears of War four a lot, and then Gears. No, of War. I think maybe I don't know. I, I don't think so because this was a, this was about a, two years ago, man. <laughs> oh, it was long ago. Yeah, this I think it was, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that I'm confident to say that it was Gears of War four. Gears of War four. When we tried to hook up, we finally set it all up to play some split screen like yeah. old fashioned co op with the shit I love. You can't do it without can't Xbox do it Live because. So. You can't even play something you they put even, in the game. You can't play. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, like, yeah, I bought yeah. the game for that. That's the only reason I have the you game. You bought the, the game mode. to play the horror mode, and you can't play it. And you you're thinking to yourself, play. why didn't you buy just. Well, we weren't Xbox. We didn't. We had PlayStation Plus on four different consoles here. You know, yeah. I'm not going to buy an Xbox Live to play a game for a few days or a week. And have yeah. a year's worth of, and do, I'm not gonna. I, I don't know that we just we just said screw it. We're not doing it. I, I don't know I don't, how that ever went down. I don't even know. But I tell you one thing: what's very disappointing, and I, I don't. I maybe you can get it on limited runs. There's a place called Limited Runs where you can buy shit. Where you know they put a limited mm -hmm. run where if you if it's digital, you can get it physical. If they do it, I'm, yeah. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've seen a couple of videos on it. I don't know if you can buy Modern Warfare Two remaster physically. I don't know. I don't think you Wait, can. What? I don't think you can. I don't, my, I've never seen that. But I, that's what I'm saying. I would love to have that because the game looks be cool. great. Yeah. But the thing is, why didn't they put spec? Is it spec ops? It's spec ops. I know why didn't they of. put that on there? Oh spec ops was you like a staple taking, of Modern Warfare. You're taking out spec ops out of a game that that's. <laughs> Remember spec ops? Yeah, I know, man. I tell you, those. Oh man, spec ops is awesome. It was yeah, something awesome ops. about Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Modern Warfare Two is a fantastic. Oh, it's amazing. Green. It's amazing. Amazing you, campaign. It's the best looking remaster I've saw to date. I'm gonna have to rebuy it again. So oh, they, I got it for free. Out, so yeah. they took out they spec took ops. Out, from they took out. They took out spec ops. That's you remember what they called the big guys? What were they? Called? Juggernauts. Juggernauts, man. Oh, I love juggernauts. Playing that shit on veteran was something else. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Spec you, ops is but great. But you wanted to get those three stars. So you oh, played no, it was four stars or three. No, you're right, three. three. No, you're right, 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 Medium and then yes. like veteran. Yeah, that and then was veteran right, was hard. Right, right, veteran, yeah, veteran was like you got. That's perfect. when you had bragging rights. Oh, I, I don't think veterans any. Rights. I don't think veterans. It's not. It's not. It's not anything to be bragging about anymore. Veteran, not anymore. Call of Duty back in the day, when you played the game on veteran, you did something. War to war, remember? No, I agree. Definitely. You you could say something. That was the bragging rights back in the day. But now veterans is like a regular hard mode. It, 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 to me, it's yeah. it's, it's, it's too yeah, user friendly, but I get it. You can't make it so hard. Being you, nobody's going to want. To, how many people are going to say I'm going to beat this no you matter know, what? That, that's how many. Thing. I like that though. But I see, like that. The, the average person isn't going to do that. The, the it, gamers which is will. Disappointing. Gamers will. I like that though. Not the, if they, it's if it's hard to do, right. that gives me more motivation to beat it because I can say I beat this. I beat this like this. Yeah. And, oh, and, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, and you and it, yeah, yeah. You, you have bragging rights. Basically. That's all. Oh, I love bragging rights. Yeah, it's, this it's, was it's awesome. It's not about. like that anymore, man. It's it's not like that anymore. Um, 
But backwards, back, back to the backwards compatibility on the Xbox side. Everybody knows, and we're not to go to it and do it deep. But I mean, I, I know that if I buy an Xbox One game and I put it in Xbox Series X, I get the free upgrade, and it's going to run. They promise it's going to run better than than you'd ever seen it. It's going to run better than you. The Xbox original is going to run better than you can than you ever thought it would run. I mean, they better not be lying. <laughs> I mean, they. I mean, they, they I, came I, out. I think I'm putting it too much up on a pedestal. I think. On I the, think but I don't. It's kind of scaring me now because. They're lazy this generation. Both <laughs> no, sides. Both in a, sides. I can't, I, I can't say. Well, I don't. I feel like they're they're trying I, to get away with as I much as they can. Yeah, I don't think they're going to. Because they've been taught, like, through the production of Xbox and PS5, this is both just consoles in general, the, the amount of just, like, drama or, like, speculation and speculation. Oh, they said it, this. They said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has yeah. been circulating for a long yeah, time. It's, it's too much. It, it's it'll wear, it'll wear you out. It, it'll yeah. wear you out. And it, it's like, you know... Uh, this this generation around, uh, PlayStation has been so quiet. I don't think it's because of the hype, and they're pulling this unit shit. I think they they I think they they're just, gonna fix that. Yeah. But I mean that was all unit. Was, there's so much hype. It was I, I don't know. Oh God, this the, the whole why be so quiet? Why be so quiet about your own your own? Uh, just tell us what it, I have, still haven't seen it yet. I, I maybe there's somebody that does have a PS5. PS5. I don't know. I don't look care. Any, I don't care anymore. I'm done looking that shit up. I'm just trying to listen what's going on with it so I know when to buy yeah. the console I want to buy. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a PS5 because it's the backwards compatibility to me, man. I want to see original. I want to see Grab by the Go- Ghoulies look badass. <laughs> yeah, Grab that by the It sounds dumb. It sounds stupid. They're thinking, well, like the guy at IGN said, well, nobody really expected it. And that'd be a lot of effort and work on the uh, well, that's what you Sony's. Do as a business. That's your goddamn job. Yeah. It's, it's your goddamn job your to improve your product and, and give me what I want. And, and have everything available to the consumer, whether it's a one, two, or three, or four generation or, or not one to the, whether it's ps1 ps2 ps3 ps4 whatever that it's your goddamn job to make it great it's yeah. not it's not us to give you excuses why it can be great it's your goddamn job to make it great sony here i i, I want to go on this topic that i've had in my mind a little a little off topic here but that's fine let's go okay. we're done with the so background. okay so i feel like there's this theory i thought of right when when you come out let's say with a good product as like that that generates when, when they play the product like wow that was good so now they have higher expectations of the next product yeah and and then they're like well this was really good i don't know if you can outdo that and then they do outdo that yeah and now their expectations are so high consumers expectations well, are so yeah, high yeah, that yeah. even if they don't even do a necessarily bad job, the consumers are still going to freak out because they didn't get what they wanted. <laughs> right, that's what I'm. That's saying. what that's what I'm that's saying. That's me. That's me. You know, what they I mean? got me so they got me thinking that I'm going. I I'm I'm walking around in you know Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, yeah. and I love chocolate. You know, that's what they're making me think. <laughs> yeah, that I am got, Willy Wonka. The, now they these make, businesses yeah, yeah. realize, wow, yeah. I actually have to live up. To to all the, those, I, yeah, cause I, I built my brand off yeah. of expectation and strong, That's, and now that yeah. people expect a lot from me, and I don't think well, they're expecting that. Well, I tell you. I, I really truly believe what you're saying is true, and on top of that, I think that's why Sony kept their goddamn mouth shut because they, they're afraid. I, I, I don't care what anybody says. When you make a comment saying that we weren't really expecting one, two, or three to be on the PS5, meaning the PS1, two, or three games, and that would be a lot of work on Sony's end, you. You yeah. should have a public hanging. Yeah, <laughs> you get stoned. No, I see, I, it really pisses me off that people are saying that because six months ago, people were saying backwards compatibility to this generation come up is very important. Electric mm-hmm. playground. Everybody was. I should. I should take hours of my time when I could be doing nothing or playing a video game and scour YouTube and get every clip where every bigger YouTuber says that backwards compatibility is important this time around and now nobody talks about it and it's okay now because Sony's not. That's bullshit. I, I know. It's, I, it's I turn- keep talking about it. I know. I, I, I can't help it. It's turning a... It like, pisses me off, you're man. You're giving excuses because you, you just so... You hope so much that this system is just going to be... You, you turn it on, turn it into a UFO and fly away. You know, like yeah. It, well, I hope that I hope I hope they I hope Xbox does something with Bethesda. I hope they take everything and keep it to themselves. Don't give Sony nothing. <laughs> a couple of videos you guys say that they should share it and make them pay for it and pay rent for that shit. Basically, not pay Warranty. rent, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, take everything from them. 
Uh, now this Xbox, Xbox is getting something going on with GameStop. I'm not going to get into that because I don't know about it, but it's something going on where it has to do with advertising or something like that. Who, who, they're, they're buying everything. I hope they take over and buy everything. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just pissed off. I'm, pissed. It, it, I'm so excited for this generation, but I'm also so disappointed. That's, yeah, yeah. I am, man. Yeah, because it, it, it's so much like these consoles... I don't think they expected this. They don't. They didn't expect the reactions, and now they, they, I feel like it's almost like PS5 went into damage control mode because I Xbox, don't know. You think well, so? Well, no, because Xbox was like, we're gonna have Xbox titles, Xbox 360 titles, all on the, and then PS5 originally, if you remember way back, there's gonna be a select few. It's only gonna be a select oh yeah, few. select few. And right, now they're right. like, well, oh crap, damage control time. I'm gonna I, make I, out 99% yeah, I, titles. I don't. I don't. I really don't see if you are okay. I, here's what I'm going to say because I don't have much more to say, and I, I can repeat myself over and over again. And I could. I could go on backwards compatibility for the next nine hours, and and probably repeat myself over and over again. But still, I haven't repeated it because I'm so pissed off about it. If uh, if you're a hardcore gamer, if you're a casual gamer, or you're just a casual person, more importantly for the casual, well, you know what? It's just important for the casual. All the way through to the hardcore guy that doesn't sleep and plays video games, right? Yeah. You should care about backwards compatibility and playing those old games. Definitely. And if a company says to you, we're going to make them run better, we're going to make them look better, and it's going to be the best experience that you've seen with these older games. Why? I don't understand yeah. why are people still defending? They, nobody's talking about that. I'm sure there are some people, but these Sony people, man, they're... It, what kind of statement says that that's going to be a lot of work on Sony's end? <laughs> like, even if it was, it's it's your it's job. your goddamn job. job. Yeah, I know. Anyway, do you have anything to add, no. Mario? Other, other than the fact that yeah, like, this is I'm so aggravated now. I, 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 unless we have something halfway decent and intelligent to talk about, I, I'm aggravated because I can't think straight because I'm so pissed off. I do want to talk a little bit about the um, terabyte situation, the three hundred dollar memory storage. Yeah, what do you think? Of, I mean, I, are you? I'm not completely against it because number one, gaming is an expensive hobby. Oh, I can. Oh, so I agree. fuck it. No. Uh, yeah. So what? I but I, I don't, I'm not going to need it. No. Not me. Because <laughs> no. I, 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 if I do play a multiplayer game, it's not going to be Call of Duty. It's not going to be a battle royale. Far as I know, unless something comes out that really, you know, like, like holy shit, but I haven't seen it yet. I don't care about Fortnite. I don't care about PUBG. I don't care about Modern Warfare, uh, the the Warzone. battle, a war zone, because I don't like the idea of dropping in out of a plane. It sounds cool. It it, it sounds, sounds cool. It sounds cool. But when but everybody does it now, Ampex or, or no or, Apex, or Legends. Apex Apex Legends. Uh, what's the other one? Who's Titanfall? The developer of Titanfall is that Apex? Yeah, they're the same. Okay, that's what they, I thought. Okay, respond. so every everybody, yeah, okay, everybody's jumping out of an airplane, and you're waiting for the circle to close in on you. Mm -hmm. And hey, developers, maybe 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 go back today and look at the old developers and see how the games were made, and maybe maybe get a little more creative and actually put out a game, not not just copy and paste everybody else's yeah. ideas. Who was first, Pub, PUBG or PUBG uh, is the original. Like, if you want to go on a technical standards, it came from a movie called Battle Royale. Oh, I but don't know. I don't pretty know. much, pretty much, we all can agree it popularized it. It was the first game that kind of did. I it. thought it was, it was PUBG because yeah, Fortnite, Fortnite was right, games. right Fortnite close. Was after Fortnite was close though. They were they they came out pretty quick. I thought no, no. Really? Fortnite, it was PUBG. Then like a little while later, it was Fortnite. Okay. PUBG got very upset at Fortnite. They threatened to lawsuit them. Oh, I didn't know they, that. Uh, yeah, because of the they stole their idea. Well, I'll tell though. you the truth. I was I looked at Fortnite when it first came out, and I seen Save the World. Yeah, I was sold. No, save the world. I would, but it, yeah. did it ever come out? Because every time no, it, save last, the world's out. it finally it. came out. Because it took oh, two years for it to come out. It you took about two or three beta? years. You know yeah. how long it's it said because they were milking it. They didn't yeah, know they where they were milking. going, and they were thinking, okay, we're just going to keep running this shit. Because they yeah. didn't. I don't think they knew that that whole battle royale thing was going to pan out. No, they were. They were, they were expecting. And I tell you the truth, when you got PUBG and you got Fortnite, I'm going to be a fag and say it. Fortnite, I'm all the the visuals. I I I love the visuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't like the idea of how it, I don't like the complete idea of it. I don't like dropping in. It sounds cool to do that because you thought to yourself, why can't we just drop in one day on this goddamn island and fight each other? I don't like the whole closing in thing. And then if I drop down and die because somebody lives on it and I, I don't play it and I get knocked out, I got to go to another game and wait for loading times. Oh, I know. That's that what would, I don't like see, about it. See, the one thing 
Fortnite is, is, is kind of gotten a lot of hate over the time, but the one thing I'll give Fortnite over after, because I've played these battle rounds, I've played oh, PUBG, yeah. I've played Apex, I've played Warzone, the one thing I'll give them credit to is when you die, oh god, the waiting times, well, the yeah, waiting okay. times. There's games you just mentioned, I'll let you finish up unless there's something else you want to add, because I don't know nothing about them, because I, I refuse to play them, I refuse, I, I downloaded Warzone, but I, I, I just refuse, I don't want to play them, I don't want to play them for some reason, it's not catching my eye, mm-hmm. it's not working for me, I don't give a shit, maybe it's a great time, maybe I'd be, maybe I'd be addicted to it, but I, I just don't care, I tried Ampex, it was okay, um... Uh, tried Fortnite. It's it's kind of stupid. Uh, PUBG. I hated. So you tell me. You played them all. You give. You tell me in your your order of one to whatever. The best. The best and why. Okay. So the first one I'm gonna go with is actually Player Unknown PUBG. Only because here's the thing with battle royales. When you play a game and you die, for example, from someone else or something. Yeah. It it's more aggravating. To like, like you'd be happy to know it was your fault that you died. Like dying because it wasn't your fault. Oh, you're saying some dumb shit. Yeah, like oh, I'm running, I get sniped in the back of the head. Yeah, like what was I supposed to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was a big issue with PUBG because in in it last like PUBG games were long and that could happen. But the only reason I'm putting it at the top of the list because that had some of the best, and I played a lot of shooter games. That had some of the best shooting mechanics. Yeah, in a console I I've ever seen. Actually, really? getting in gunfights in that game was like realistic, like realistic. Oh, wow, okay. It was awesome. That huh. was the only reason that I was addicted to that. That's okay. the only, I would live for those gunfights. All right. The next game I would say is probably um, Apex. I'll put that over Warzone because a- a- Apex. I mean, it kind of removed that. It kind because when you get shot, just like in Fortnite, how you could build one one and then you can finally get in the fight. Even though I don't like building too much in that game, right? It's kind of stupid. I think you okay. can agree. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? that's Going, stupid. Doo, 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 doo. That's why am I, I building like ladders up to the I, sky I and then jumping off to get away from somebody shooting me? Yeah, that's just dumb. It's yeah. stupid. I don't like it either. Trust yeah. me. And um, the, the reason Apex it it removes that, but yet you still don't get that feeling of if I get shot, I can get out of it because there's the armor system. There's the um the with the ar- the armor th- system, so you could easily get be- health that be- ha- uh, health back. Right. And and honestly, the shooting it was satisfying to down, was satisfying to kill, and the ranked was really well done. I played a lot of ranked games and SR systems and, and Renown systems. I played them all. And I can tell you that that's a good one, like Valorant. I think Valorant's the best Renown system next to uh, Apex because ranks. Because okay. I like going up in rank and having yeah, yeah, master I get, rank. I get it. You know okay. I mean? After that, I would probably say Warzone. Because really? That, really? The progression be third? That, because, yeah, even though I played a lot of it, the, the, the thing is, like, you, you kind of get burnt out of it because... Okay, so you, you pick a weapon, and then you could build off that weapon, and it's pretty cool because like you get to attach what you want. You can make it do like long range, short range, whatever, and then you can have your own class. It's cool and everything, but the amount of issues in like bull crap. Really? Like you die from bull crap all the time. You die from people going. So it's you, you, mean, you mean camping you or, or battle camping, necking you? So, so what you're saying is it's nothing but a giant team death. I mean, all of them are, but you're just saying it's just a giant version of old school team death match on battle where they, it's just a stupid drop, prone, shoot, run, jump. Pretty is much, that it? Yeah. I don't but know. Like I said, round, I don't know. It's that. I don't that, know because I don't play it. And, and the the good thing about that though, in the old versions, you could respawn and get back into the fight. Oh, fast. so you're saying but you, you can't have to, do that anymore? Oh, in Warzone. I keep forgetting you're okay. You have to do that anymore. What do you have to wait to? You have to wait. First, a si- first you gotta get into the game, which takes about a minute. Then you gotta. There's oh, I hate the stupid pre lobby where people really? drop down and shoot each other. That's another like eighty seconds. Oh, then hell no. you gotta wait yeah, another thirty not, seconds no. to drop, no. and then thirty percent of, of the game you're just running. Yeah, no, no. But, I, I mean, the yeah, gunfights are kind of cool. It's just it's too much work to get up to have a little bit of satisfying thing that, with all these battle royals, in my opinion. It, but just, the only satisfying about it was upgrading your weapon. That was it. That's I mean, it I looks good. About. The game looks it good. It looks good. It looks good. And, and the weapons and stuff are really cool. In it's Modern just, Warfare 2. Imagine, or I mean, Modern Warfare you're talking about, right? like Team Deathmatch in Call of Duty. You know, yeah, okay, sometimes okay, you yeah. die, but it's fine because you can instantly respawn, get back in the fight. Yeah, yeah, you get right back in the mix. You can't, you can't, you can't do, do that. that That's an all battle rolls, basically, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't, it takes, but, but Fortnite, Fortnite. Fortnite. Can it, you go right back in? You can get those loading times were fast. It's the oh, one thing they see, did. See, it's been so long. It was the one thing I. What was the A1Z one? H1Z1. H1Z1. I actually, I, I like that. And I'm, I'm Wasn't that, that like the generic food 
type of game oh, where man. somebody you was hated copying. Graphics, though. Somebody was. No, I thought it looked okay. Really? But, yeah. I remember we played it for a small period you of time. You liked that? It was all. Right. I liked it. Yeah. I kind. It was. It no, wasn't no, bad. I liked. I actually liked H one Z one because that's probably the fastest pace battle rail I've ever played. Like you jump out of the car. Is that up do, anymore? Do, 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 is, that even, is that even? Is that even open? The servers are down. Isn't that great? How that happens? Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why we should go digital. See, guys, this is a really great thing right here we're talking about because we should go digital. You know why? Because when they cut the server down, you don't know. You know, no longer own that game. Meaning, if I have an old console and I want to put the game in, I have it physical. I can play it. Oh, you know, See, what bothers, you know what yeah. bothers me? Wait till that about, happens. You, Wait till that you know, happens. You know, okay, so you know those people that spent five thousand dollars in a Fortnite and skins, <laughs> yeah. and think you know what they're thinking now? Wow, no one plays Fortnite. No one cares about the game anymore. I spent. What is it about 000? the experience as you're playing it, and if that's what you want to do, and that's your only game? But I would never spend thing a is, lot of money. I, on a, people like, spend a lot of money. Like, oh, check this out. Mm -hmm. Because they can the bright well, you, right well, you saying, oh, get, I have this cool. Well, you get the cool. red stormtrooper, whatever his name is. Then yeah. you get then you get Captain America. Then you get all the different characters and skins. They're just their Fortnite is just bombarding with skins. Oh yeah, definitely. That's where they make their money. I, I know, but I'm just, I'm surprised it's still around. I, I don't know. I I don't I don't like battle royales. I just don't like them. I rather play an old school fashion team deathmatch. I rather play something that's that's a strategy based little type of game like mm -hmm. battlefield 3 where you disarm and rearm that's that's me but i guess i'm the very very few that think that way anymore no i i definitely agree actually it, battlefield 3 was awesome battlefield hardline kind of sucked in my opinion kind of that was it, the it, worst it one. Sucked. That was horrible. <laughs> I hate it, though. We bought the two copies to sucked. play that shit, and That's I couldn't terrible. believe I was playing Wii. You, I said, this is god-awful. This is I know. You bought... Hard First Lines, was a, di Hard Lines was a complete dis embarrassment to the battle <laughs> Battlefield... Uh, World. Franchise. It, the, the thing is, the issue with that game is that... They made it? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the issue with that game. They, they made it. Never have made it. Hard lines. I'm they should have never here's made the it. Thing, I'm not going to spend my time in grind for an item to only be able to use it on one side. I can't use that same item on the other side. Oh my god! I, I, I didn't get that far enough. Oh yet. god, it sucks. You spend a long <laughs> time, and it takes a long time. By the way, this isn't just like two, like an hour. Okay, <laughs> you're spending days on unlocking an item that you can't even use on both sides. I'm not. I no, no. I think mm. Battlefield Three did uh. a lot better. Oh, Battlefield 3 was amazing. Yeah, Battlefield 3 was awesome. Five, I mean, 4 was good. It was modern. But anyway, you know what? Well, like I said, we'll finish it up now, I guess, unless, like I said, if you have something else, I don't know if you do or not. <laughs> but the thing is, what I'm surprised, and we'll, we'll leave it at this, and thank everybody for watching the Sausage Links podcast or listening to the Sausage Links podcast. I'm really surprised that you never got into Predator, where it's because you play that Dead by Daylight shit. It's the same thing. You it's never Predator. got into Predator where you're... You can be the predator, and you got four guys on the ground that are chasing. Wait, what are you their... talking about? Oh Christ, man! Forget about it. This no, is too. No, no, no. I'm this interested. Is... Oh, God. I'm interested. You... I'm wanna... interested. I didn't know you didn't know. I really didn't. know. No, you I'm know. interested. I, I, I played. No, I bought a game. I, did not I bought a game called Evolve, here, and that man. was good. I played Dead by Daylight, and that was also this good. This is embarrassing. And I, like the I shouldn't have bring it up. I should have no, bring no, it off. No, I should have bring it off air. I shouldn't have did this. No, no. Not that anybody's gonna listen anyway. I'm just saying. I'm interested. Which predator? Oh my God! Oh my God! You're you're just. Of course. What you don't you never? <laughs> I, it's your type of game, man. It's all. Really? I mean, it's a four. It's I think it's five base. I think you have AI in the game as well. I don't know. Like I said, if anybody listens to this and corrects me, that's fine. It's you're the predator. It just came out earlier mid this year, and you're three to four guys on the ground. You could play as friends, and you could take turns being the predator, and you're hunting human, and humans are waiting and trying to find the predator. That sounds cool. Yeah. I right. feel like that name is a little familiar, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? No. It's only no. a big box office movie. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That Maybe. does sound familiar. Yeah. Predator. No, no. Maybe have you heard of Alien? <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. God okay, damn. Okay. E.T. phone home? E <laughs> anyway, no. That, I'm, I'm I thought you would have gave me a lowdown, like, why you hated it. Like, we, we, you plays all of me. Gets them all. I guess he's doing <laughs> hand jobs behind 7-Eleven and getting Zed to buy him games because he already knows all of them before even they even come out. But he says it sucked. Every game to him sucks. Every game. But anyway, yeah. But uh, I don't know. I, mean, I thought you would. I thought you would. Anyway, thanks again. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't heard. No. I got to show you when we're done this. Okay. okay. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. This is, this is Sausage Dan. This is Mario. We'll see you next time. 
the next podcast will we'll figure it out. Thanks, guys. God damn, man. Well, hello. This is the Sausage Links podcast. Thanks for stopping by. I'm here again with my co-host again. Mario. God damn it, bro! You do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. <laughs> well, hello. Okay, wait. See, and it fucked up. Try it. Go ahead. Well, hello. I'm here with Meat. No, I'm not Meat. I'm Sausage Dan. Okay, you're Sausage meat Dan. Meat doesn't come on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Dude, okay. Meat doesn't exist on this side. I might even get rid of that whole thing. I might, I might even shut that channel down. Uh, now nah, I won't shut it down. Go ahead. <laughs>